All right, today we've got a <clears throat> just a little built coop B series. Should be pretty cool. Uh, we're gonna go over it all and check everything out, and then uh, put plugs in it and get ready to do some tuning. So pretty stoked to get to tune again. It's way different. <laughs> Almost made it. All right, so yeah, the one we got going, the the vacuum line we got going to the turbo. We need to take this one to the regulator right here because we don't have anything on the regulator. So this is your boost gauge. This one here. And then we gotta put a clamp on this one right here or just move the clamp up. It's coming in there. Across here. That'll go to the blow off valve. Make sure this plug is right. So that's not right. So that's the purge solenoid. So we need to find the idle motor plug. Where or where could it be? It's tied into the harness or what? But it'll be uh, blue with a black stripe and a yellow with a... And then the fans jumped. Oh, there it is. It's way over here. So that's the idle control motor. Tied in? Yeah, it's, I think it's zip tied to something. Yeah, you guys are yeah we got some clampers. So you can see this blue wire with the yellow stripe and the black or yellow with a black stripe. That's the idle control motor. The, the air temperature sensor will always be uh, is red and then the green. And I see those get mixed up all the time. And when you mix them up, you actually burn up the air temperature sensor. But this way, now this this thing will idle right. So that, and then we check the injectors, and it's it's brown, red, blue, yellow. So you just make sure everything that's tied in is yellow. There's blue. Red. Yeah, there's red. But our colors are weird here, so we need to check that in brown. Yeah. Bring this one back here. I think we need to investigate a little more here. See how this wire here has got this yellow stripe on it? Yeah. And this one is black yeah. with a yellow stripe. So that's looking more like the purge solenoid one that I thought this was, but gotta make sure oh, that wire is broken too. So we gotta fix this too. Their temperature sensor and this number two injector. So I think, I think that got mixed up. So we're just gonna need to make sure, cause this should also have a yellow with a black stripe wire. Like this one though. Yeah, and plain, and then plain red. And you can see this is red with a yellow stripe going to the injector two. So it's like just good thing we're like scanning it just so we can know things all tucked up nice but we can untuck it and make it work just for a bit here so we're just finishing the wiring up <clears throat> little man and his dad busting it out be ready to rock in just a few minutes and this all went good? Yeah. Don't yeah, it looks good. Uh, they said there was a, a port, yeah, either on the it. turbo or on the pipe. So we're gonna oh, take yeah. that. So this will come totally off. We won't even have this tee. This will tie right into that. Right. And then we should be all straight. 
What's in this engine? Um, CP pistons and uh, eagle rods. Eagle rods? No block guard, just yeah, oh. block guard. Eagle block guard. Eagle block guard. Golden eagle. So there's no overflow on the Civic. It's Kyle. That's what all my cars have. Oh, yeah, <laughs> and it works perfect. Almost like you knew what you were doing. It's awesome. I'm super pumped. Now time to come in here and set this thing all up. That'll be good time. What size injectors are in this one? So what? These are. Where did they come from? They came from my car. Yeah, but where, where did they come from? Before, or your car? The head top. Oh, this is basically the setup. Just yeah. different turbo. Yeah, just a precision turbo. The exhaust out the back. Where's the exhaust come out? Middle of the car? I got the fan on it. Crack the door, the exhaust comes out the middle. So Kyle was kind of working on getting that all set up. Working on the battery mount. New terminal and we're gonna be straight. Did you find a bolt for that one that wasn't missing? So Shane's working on getting a bolt for that one right there. What a difference, this thing looks all put together now. <laughs> Got the vacuum line to the regulator. All the injectors are done and nice. This oil line's all pulled away from the timing belt. Shane's got a bolt in there. Just little simple things. I got a glove on for it. <laughs> Just one. You gonna see if, you're, see if it fits in the fan. You want to tell me the speed of that thing real quick? I don't know how fast it is. Wait. Huh? Wait. Just put your hand in the fan real quick. It's not moving. Let me know the speed. Wacko. So I went to calibrate the TPS. And as I'm flooring it right now, you can see it says zero. <clears throat> it's plugged in. color is the wires on it make sure they don't okay yeah he's got them backwards that's the map sensor that's what I was gonna yeah where's the map sensor right underneath on? those throttle bodies it's now <laughs> well that's what we're here for right <laughs> here to find that stuff and fix it, it doesn't I don't think it's gonna reach unless... yeah it could be zip tied because everything got zip tied real good I got it BBL throttle body is tricky. Oh yeah, now it's gonna work. So come back here, we'll read it, and now we'll floor it, and we'll read it again, and now it's perfect. You can see what our air is like. That's what we deal with. Minus five. Ugh. Give me something to breathe. The starter wire? Or is there a push button? Try it. So trying to start it, they don't really know that injector size it is. So we start with thousands. So we're gonna just change this until it gets it to run. It's one of those things you kind of figure out. No big deal. So when I change this size down, I'm increasing the amount of fuel that comes out of them globally. Doesn't mean this size I'm putting in is right. Just means I'm getting closer to how much fuel it really needs. Now, we will uh, really 
get in there and figure it out. It really smells like a lot of fuel, so we'll lean her out. Now too much. Yeah, this one's gonna have its little problems here. This may go into a day two, just because I got a distributor code. And none of us wanna mess with a distributor code, but it's common. So, so it's blinking cylinders. Set these and see what comes back. Cylinder sensor came right back. An idle motor came right back. We need a distributor. You don't think throwing that ground right here? Yeah, no. Well, we, yeah, we should probably throw a ground on that too, but we got code nine. Yeah, okay. Just like you said. You, you want to start just fresh tomorrow and bring his other one? Get it going, huh? Yeah, because... Ah, right, let's try something real quick. See how all the common powers are on top? This is very common for aftermarket distributors. Look, so it'll be this blue, and then here's the orange with a blue stripe, and then the white, and then the orange is underneath. Well, that's polarity is actually wrong for the sensor. So we're gonna flip those real quick and see if that changes things. What are you seeing? Just the thermostat ground on the starter. So this is there. Yeah, it shouldn't. But we are missing one up there, but yeah. we have one, we have one right here. Here. Yeah. Where's that ground at? Right there. Um we should probably still move that. Yeah. Because that's a big electrical component. Well, that's the most you important I mean? ground on the car. Well yeah, this look out the starters, hard. whatever. That's O2, yeah. Right. But the background, yeah, definitely move that. Just because of the noise from the starter itself. The electronics that go all through that. Did you like play with the dead time and stuff? Oh, yeah. Yeah, I've been trying to. I tuned a car with these injectors before, so I don't think that's it. But I think it's just something to do with this ground. And then <laughs> we'll get a ground from the valve cover to the chassis as well. Yeah, because it's really weird that one time it gave me every code the car had. Like all of them. All of a sudden. Like, what's that? So Shane's moving the ground to the thermostat housing. It was on the starter. And I would like to think maybe there's just too much noise going through that. Probably not a good place for a ground. Injectors. That just looks like the idle control motor and the boost control. So it does. So this does have boost control in this know one. What? No, this one does because this is out of uh, my girl's car. Yeah. And I, yeah, I see that. The one I have for this one, I left it at the shop. The idle control motor. Yeah, this one was seems to have a little burn spot. Control. Yeah. Remember, because you had a hard time on, on the blue. On the oh yeah. Was that the idle control motor was yeah. wrong with that? Okay. Because you're messing around with this. I remember. Well, bring that distributor and that other ECU then. All right. And then we can finish this off. And a map oh. sensor? Uh, I can get a map sensor unless you guys have another map yeah, sensor laying around. You got a couple? Okay. So we'll just start fresh again in the morning and we'll keep going. At least we know now because yeah. he. He had Wagos ECU, so we were able to just put that in there and and then work it out. Can we get this fixed? Yeah, they can all be fixed. They're Hondas, man. 
But at least we know now. What's what? Because that was throw me for a loop. I thought it was grounds and this and that. We'll still we'll still add those grounds though. We'll still make it all good. But. So I leave this here and then you tell me how much you need to fix it. Okay. No problem. We'll fix this board up and uh, get this stuff working. All right, we got the Civic all worked out. Um, we put a new Honda in it. Um, I put a new OBD2 distributor on it, and now we're syncing it up. Um, but yeah, all fixing the vacuum lines, fixing the map sensor, everything's working. So time to start making tubs on it. So we put the time in. And we got the stuff worked out, so. It's already done, bro. Yeah. So we got the bolt in there, distributor fixed, map sensor fixed. these problems out for the guys because they don't they don't know what they're doing you know so that's the important thing that's why we go so far you got the button listen already. to her sing now we're good we'll get some cooling temp in her and then we can start figuring out what she needs next You saw Kyle fix this, or just created one real quick. Well, she was a tough one, but we got her on, huh, James. Yeah, on, James. Yep. I turned it up to 55. Okay. Yeah, yeah. So this is at four percent throttle. Even though I've reset it a couple times, so something I'm keeping, I'm being mindful about, is that uh, either the blade's sticky or there's something that kind of TPS moving or something. Well, the TPS don't move because I tighten the crap out of it. I I tried that, so okay. but I've zeroed it out. I've calibrated it a couple times, and I'm still getting variances. So we'll watch that as we go.
Yeah, same boost, just not that. Yeah. That's what Shane learned the other night. Yeah. How much power being rich robs. That's almost 30 horsepower difference. Yeah, and I know on the top end now, I need to keep it in the way too. So it's showing you the curve. I'll give her a couple indentations there, seeing where I need to start from. And then I'll lower my backside. Whoa. Are you talking about your backside on camera? Yeah. Trying to feed it, you know, boost here. No boost control. It will bleed off the bottom. <laughs> uh huh. It's about to be a rock star. Do, do you want me to put that little one back in? Yeah, that was a whole new path. Plateaued yet? Yeah, we're gonna have to turn it on. Oh, so we should have stuck with the TI pulley? I'm gonna need to put our vacuum on. Manual boost control modification. Add a hose onto it. Pinch it off a little bit with the zip tie.
was idling real high, so I thought that was a vacuum leak, but it was the auto blade, just like you said we had to watch for earlier. What, uh, what power was that? 397. It kind of plateaued off a little bit. Was it rich up top? No. It's a 58 58 right yeah. that's what determined i was guessing 57 so it's right there so 401 looks like it's the magic number but what a difference from before to now that'll be a blast on the road yeah this car will fly yeah yeah, his front tires are wicked. Yeah. These things are sweet. What wheels are those? VMS. VMS? They're pretty rad. Those and what tires are those? Uh, <laughs> Something? Proxies. Yeah, oh, yeah. Toyos? Yep. That's a rad tire. But I think that's where she's gonna land for now. No codes. Everything's working. So everything's buttoned up. She's ready to party. Poor man's boost controller. Works great. All right. Another one that I'll be flying around on the street. Well, that one took a little bit of time. It did. There was some issues, but yeah. chased them all out of it though. It all worked out. Yeah. That's what why you missed your dyno, isn't no, it? I did. You I like this? Solving the puzzles. Yeah. <laughs> he's all. Though. He's all happy again. So. Hell yeah. This one's back on the road. I got to solve, you. I got to solve your puzzle. <laughs> it's way rad, dude. Way cool. Took a little time, but we found our groove. Yeah. Now she's a ripper. I'm ready to go. <laughs> 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 I know. Those tires on a hook team. Right on. We got some more to tune, so stay tuned for some more videos.